You know, we always talk about how the people on the left have no sense of humor. And Donald Trump has the left absolutely losing their minds after he said this. I want to be very, very clear on this. To be clear, do you in any way have any plans whatsoever, if re-elected president, to abuse power, to break the law, to use the government to go after people? You mean like they're using right now? So, in the history of our country, what's happened to us, again, has never happened before. Over nonsense, over nothing, made up charges. I often say Al Capone, he was one of the greatest of all time, if you like criminals. He was a mob boss, the likes of which Scarface, they call him. And he got indicted once. I got indicted four times. I want to go back to, to this one issue, though, because the media has been focused on this and attacking you yeah. under no circumstances. You are promising America tonight. You would never abuse power as retribution against anybody. Except for day one. Yeah. Except for He's going crazy. Except for day one. Meaning? I want to close the border, and I want to drill, that's drill, not, that's, drill. That's not, no, no. That's not retribution. I got I'm going to be, I'm going to be, you know, he keeps, <laughs> we love this guy. He says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, 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 other than day one. The reaction on social media and the actual media has been, absolutely beautiful it's kind of like that believe him we talked about this we talked about this remember the answer we talked about and donald trump doesn't do it he had previous interview members said you didn't take all those documents back to your beach club i did and i had the right to do it and hannity kind of <laughs> droops his head but the point is again he's saying now just explicitly i'm going to do a bunch of stuff on day one and if anybody believes it's going to end in day one i've got a bridge to sell you across the river here so this yeah. is what we're hearing from donald trump more and more it's the reason we're hearing more and more from Joe Biden about the dangers of a potential second term. Well, I mean, Willie, think about it. If any other politician in American history were asked the question, are you going to be a dictator? <laughs> no. Donald Trump never answered it. Mm -hmm. He never answered no. it. And the, when he said, and I just want, there, there's a sickness. There is a sickness among, unfortunately, some of our fellow Americans regarding authoritarianism and totalitarianism they want it because really when he promised that he would be a dictator on day one he got applause well and that's even on before, fox news even and before he a lot of people watching even before right on he talked even before he talked about the border which a majority of americans would support closing the border today probably an overwhelming majority are drilling by the way what a stupid thing to say. Drill, drill, drill. What a stupid thing to say. You can tell he doesn't even read the newspapers and the people applauding that don't even read the newspapers. Do you have any plans to abuse power, break the law, or go after people? And here's the thing, Van. We timed it. He didn't answer that question for five minutes. For five wow. minutes, he obfuscated, didn't give a yes or a no. For five minutes, and when he finally did answer, the answer was dictator on day one yeah, it's, it's, what do you hear there well i mean in some ways it's kind of like the, the the guy at ellis island they say do you advocate supporting uh, overthrowing the government by force or violence and he goes violence right <laughs> this is like this is a very easy question it's a simple yes or no question and there was an opportunity to to set the record straight to tell people i do not plan to do this i plan to follow the law i plan he didn't do it there's not a single human being on earth that would take more than five seconds to answer a question like that the right way, he couldn't get it right in five minutes. Donald Trump just said live on air during a Fox News town hall that he plans to be a dictator on day one of his presidency. He's going to be a dictator, not for the border, but for himself. So he can hold on to power for the rest of his life, go after people that he doesn't like, and more. Like folks, I hope the overwhelming majority of Americans can agree that American citizens should not be voting for someone who claims openly that they're going to be a dictator regardless of the reason. Donald Trump is completely against American ideals. He's completely against what we stand for here. And I hope that even the people who are Republicans can see him saying, I'm going to be a dictator and say, yeah, that's not for this country. We don't do that here. Anytime I see a clip like this in an interview or a news story, whatever, I always wonder to myself, like, 
How hard is it to go through life without a sense of humor? I mean, these people are losing their minds. It's we're, we're watching the destruction of humanity right before our eyes. Now, I will say this. If Donald Trump wasn't such a narcissist, he could probably be one of the greatest presidents in our country's history. But the fact that he has the left losing their minds over this is such a thing of beauty. The fact that they think that he could come in and actually be a dictator shows how stupid they really are. The fact that they don't understand that there are certain laws in place that only give the president so much power. I, it, it's like they don't understand how government works at all. I mean, the fact that they think he's going to end democracy, like he could just do that with a snap of his finger. <laughs> it, it, it's It's unbelievable. That being said, the things he did say he was going to do on that first day, I don't understand how you could not agree with both of them.